These are some of our newest donations. As you see here, this is kind of your traditional prom dress. So the big poofy thing. We know everyone loves bling. We also have dresses with sleeves and lace. We know that lace is always on trend. We thought we'd do it one year, get rid of my dress. And now here we are getting ready for our 11th year. And so it just kind of started. I wanted my dress to go to another girl, pay it forward. We kind of showed up and we didn't think anyone would be there. And we had 300 girls that came that first day. We had a thousand dresses. And that was just from word of mouth. 6,790 dresses. Woo! We just had our 10th year last year, and we had over 2,500 girls come, close to 7,000 dresses on the racks. All they have to do is show a valid high school ID, and they come in, and the dresses are set up by size and color. So they walk in, and we have salons. And from zero to 20 plus, it's you know black to white in every style and color imaginable. At the end of each event, we kind of have a spot where girls can leave us a note. And it's fun for the volunteers and the board to go back and kind of see, you know, I love my dress, or you know, you hear exciting things. Sometimes you hear things like, if it weren't for you guys, I wouldn't have been able to go to my prom. I mean, when we first started, it was definitely focused on girls that couldn't afford it and kind of a cost need basis. We never made them show proof of financial need, but it was always that was in the back of our mind. And now I think it's cool because it has evolved into just like an event. So girls of like all different financial status from all different high schools are coming to the event and it's more just about come get a free dress. It's the biggest selection in the Pacific Northwest. And so I know that we're helping girls, but we're also making them feel like they're shopping where their peers are shopping and there's no stigma. It's like just a really big place where you can go with all your girlfriends and walk away with dresses. And so I think it's nice you see girls standing in line in the morning and they're kind of keeping it in themselves. And then you get into the dressing rooms and they're like high-fiving each other and like, ooh, you look beautiful, you know? And so it's fun to see just even the camaraderie throughout the day and kind of how the girls understand like the self-esteem and building each other up. And that's kind of been the biggest thing that we weren't like prepared for maybe or I didn't know what happened throughout the years is just kind of seeing how it affects girls it's more than just the dress